my name is Stephanie Nganga. I'm a digital content creator and the host of my show, The SNS, and a proud cat mom <laughs> of two. <laughs> my cats, Peppers, and Pearl. Shout out to you guys. Mama is working hard. Mama is working hard. <laughs> Every time I'm asked this question, I feel like my story is always changing. <laughs> but I don't know if there's particularly one thing I can point out that was a single source of inspiration. I think it was like a culmination of many things. Number one, I wanted to practice my degree unconventionally and merge it with my love for content. I have a background in journalism, broadcast, with a broadcast concentration. So I wanted to be able to do both things simultaneously and SNS was the platform that would allow me to do so. I, it was also post-graduation and you know the pressure of okay what are you doing after school what's happening what's going on so I, I really needed to you know figure something out quick and then lastly it was also inspired by a lot of the content that I consume and the stories that I wanted to tell oh it's like asking me to pick up favorite child no <laughs> well I think it would have to be from a love letter the segment and in case you don't know it's a segment that we have uh, dedicated to showcasing and featuring the different existing realities when it comes to relationships whether they are platonic, familial and or romantic that we know many may not potentially relate to but aspire to. So we featured Anita Nderu and her husband Barrett and it was such a heartwarming and wholesome you know episode very raw intimate and vulnerable and yeah that was my absolute favorite. You know when I saw this question I was wondering now which one <laughs> Which one is it? I will say a lot of the laughs that we have behind the scenes is usually after we're done filming when you know it's just the camera crew and I and we're making Chaya Sakumi and we're just chilling that's when it's usually the most hilarious of stories. Unexpected would be <laughs> I don't know if this would be me throwing myself under the bus but we had a, a technical difficulty as uh -huh. I'd like to call it and our guest was there but the the what is it called but our gear was not yeah yeah gear like equipment and um you know trying to put out that fire yeah that was very unexpected i never expected it i was like oh my god <laughs> so yeah you know when i started it was initially me reaching out to people that i already know reaching out to my friends creatives that i've already collaborated and worked with in the industry because it was easier that way but you know with the growth that we have seen we have now received guests or features of people expressing interest to come on board and then we also take uh, very keen to our comments and feedback from the audience so if they want someone we bring them we make it happen it definitely has to be a love letter and this the, the specific part is the third beat so how we've structured it is we first have the solo intro interviews where we interview both you know parties separately and hear their stories and it's always interesting to see one person remembering a particular incident and the other not so much and then the second bit is they play our love letter deck then the third bit is the one that's very raw and intimate and vulnerable where they read out to each other a letter and it's just who's cutting the onions you know well me and crew in the background are just as they are crying so are we so it's a very beautiful you know to bear witness to people literally pouring their hearts out and and saying things that maybe ordinarily on a normal day they wouldn't it's just so refreshing and we love love here. Yeah. Oh, who would I? I mean, I'd love to see Judy and Abel. I, Judy Nyawira and Abel Mutua. I have been such big fans and fiends of their work and, you know, being creators and entrepreneurs in the space. I would love to hear their story and especially the fact that they are a couple that do it together. That's one. I think for siblings, I'd be interested to seeing Amina and her sister Shukri because I don't know if I have really gotten to, you know, interact with them as much. So I'd like to hear their stories and so many other people. Friend, how much time do we have? <laughs> yeah. I will say I'm the I am now a reformed individual, you know, we are changing and evolving, but initially I would be the type to walk into a room and stick, like glue to the people that I know. And with the SNS, I have had to network. It has forced me to get out of my comfort zone and interact with people who ordinarily I wouldn't have or even gotten the chance to meet. So it has really helped expand my network circle. And then I think also my perspective has changed with a lot of the times we put people 
on on pedestals and they they feel so far like so distant from our own realities but when i get to interact with these people i'm just like damn you're really just you're, you're just a human going through life as as we all are so humanizing you know the creators or the celebrities behind you know who we see and what we interact with has been it's been very interesting yeah I love a good movie. Find me there. My yeah. favorite aisle <laughs> is the cinema. Oh, when yeah. I when I, when I when I have loved going for, you know, cinemas because of it's a it's an experience for me. Mm. It's the buying the snacks. Mm. It's the 3D glasses. Mm. It's the sound. Yeah. It's the light. I'm just like I'm here. They said when I'm there, the grass is green, the sky is blue, <laughs> and everything else is right with the world. My problems at the door. <laughs> yeah. So I love a good I love a good movie. When I reach Positano, Italy, Hamlali, oh, <laughs> Hamni party, we are within. <laughs> Let me tell you, the the hair in, I mean, you know, the wind in my hair, you know, um, the sand in my feet, pasta. I'm picturing myself in a white silky. Yeah. I like, I'm putting for you. I'm I'm picturing the scene, yeah. and then the beach. Exactly. Oh, and some Italian music playing in the background. Mm. Martial arts. I'm there. <laughs> Woo, when I get there. <laughs> you know, I'm lali. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, I, I, I love movies, and I'm a big fan of just film. Everything film, you know, TV shows and series. So this, it's really difficult for me to pinpoint one. But I will say, there are those that have influenced different parts of me. For example, I, I loved watching Project Runway. I love watching this the new Netflix um, original Next in Fashion because I'd like to think I'm a very fashionable person. So, <laughs> so watching watching these shows really, you know, inspires my sense of style. I also love like you know the black you know 1999 to 2010 movies, those ones that were black rom-coms, and they don't make them like that anymore, maskin. But yeah, so things like Why Did I Get Married, Think Like a Man. Um, love right, love and basketball, poetic justice. We can go on and on because we love love here. Black love to be particular. <laughs> yeah. Yes, two, I have an affirmation I like to say every morning that is inspired so much by my sister. She's the one who taught it to me rather. It's everything is working in my favor and blessings are flowing towards me. Even when everything could be going south. I'm literally having a breakdown like everything's working. And then the second one would be the desire to create is one of the deepest yearnings of the human soul. Sunrise. Dating. Oh, nice. Yeah. Grr. Braids. <laughs> <laughs> Braids. Mm. So in this economy, I will say I'm a wish list kind of babe. Mm. Like I, I, I truly know what I want. So I think I, I, I would like a good gift. Thoughtful. And, and I know what I want. So get me what is on that wish list. Thank you. I think more time that I would make more money and that way I can spend more time with my loved ones. Mm -hmm. I'm a proud cat mom of two. I really speak to them even though they barely listen to me. If you're watching, I'm seeing you. <laughs> but yeah, I would, I would definitely speak to them and with them. Okay. Um. You know, I, I don't really know if I have a favorite dance move. I mean, there's, there's, one, there's one thing I, I, my sister taught me how to do. Shout out to her. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's like the uns, uns, uns things. So it's, uh, I think, it, I don't know what they call it. I don't know if they'll be able to hear, but it's. <laughs> Ideally, I should be doing this, but by the time, yeah. <laughs> Tea, I, listen, people who drink coffee, y'all are nasty. I, I've, I'm not even done either, but I would say skydiving. I don't think I like the ocean, but from the from the beach, you know, like from the sand, not in the water. Yeah, my dear friends, I, my, my, you know, my supporters, I, we, we are, we are friends. To thank them, most especially, I am eternally grateful for the love and support, and you know, the sense of community that we have fostered and grown over the years and that I continue to discover and rediscover my why when it comes to creating and share, share it with them. And money, send me money, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Um, I'm assuming the PG rated ones, no? Yes. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>
my mom is watching this, I'm purely virgin. <laughs> I don't know if I have a guilty pleasure. I, yeah, I don't know if I would have one that... Because ideally, why are they even called guilty? If it's a pleasure, why is it... I feel like something less, you know that's not good for you, mm -hmm. but you just like, like it. I, you know? Something that's not good for me. Maybe like junk food. Oh, oh I'm a snacker. Like Although, mm, I don't know if really that would be a guilty pleasure. Like, I, I can snack very seriously. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes it's to the point even like my teeth get sensitive, but who am I? I'm, I'm going in. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Stephanie Nanga. You can catch me on the SNS every Wednesday at 10 a.m. on my YouTube channel. And this was 25 Questions. Thank you.